Yeah. Golden Sour. This says the hazard rating's high on this ship. So there goes the reactor. Obviously, you don't want to be near that thing. So yeah, guys, this is my new setup. It should be a lot better. I'm not on uh, radio mics anymore with all the scratchy interference and batteries that die on me in midstream and stuff. So I'm into a more permanent setup now. So let me know what you think overall. Chuck, you like the camera quality, it seems like. Um, let me know about the audio, too. It should sound a lot better. Um... So yeah, man, this is a, uh, oh, I got to say thank you to uh, Tokyo Gouda. He's not on right now, but he'll probably be on the stream a little later. Uh, he sent me this game. So thank you, Tokyo Gouda. He uh, thought I might like it and he was right. So thanks for sending that, buddy. Uh, I'm going to have a beer in your honor in just a second here. This first beer, uh, I, I actually, so uh, a couple streams ago, I did that game. It was called uh, Space Raiders from Space. Went through my cellar and I found all the space theme beer that I had. So I kind of depleted, I depleted my stock of, of space theme stuff. But I've managed to find a beer. Um, this is a sour. It's called Jupiter's Gold. Jupiter Gold, sorry. And it's a sour that's made with uh, Jupiter grapes. And it's from uh, Carolina uh, Bowner House. Oh, Bayer, Bayern House, sorry, Bayern House. And then Freehouse Brewery, I guess it's a collaboration. Two breweries from, well, I guess, I don't know if they're both from South Carolina, but this beer is from South Carolina. So uh, that's all I really know about it. But I figured, you know, so if you guys, uh, if you take a look at the game, you notice that, like, everything's kind of gold, like a lot of the lettering and kind of the highlights and some of the design and stuff. So I figured Jupiter's Gold, Jupiter Gold was a nice little matchup. Um to kind of highlight that and it's it's loosely space themed so that's <laughs> that's what made me pick this one um because like i said i was running really low on space themed beers so um went ahead and went with this one so uh let's crack it open and now i'm risk i'm risking i'm in my uh, office now instead of being uh, on my couch so i run the risk if this foams over i'm gonna have to make a mad dash i'll have to try to pour it really quick here i gotta get ready Okay, it's nice and calm. We're not in danger here of uh, any foam over or anything crazy like that. So let me see if I can pour it here for you guys to see. Yeah. Golden sour. Should be nice. Yeah, so this is uh, Jupiter Gold. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for joining. Whoa. Yeah, so Stan or um in it beer man, you might have a insight into the flavor profile. It's got a grape sort of a grape a musty grape kind of uh, flavor to it. Um let me get another let me get another pull here. Yeah, so right on the it just punches punches you with this like really intense grape kind of like the wave that washes over you immediately as you start to swallow so this is kind of interesting wild yeast um and then uh south carolina jupiter gold grapes it says beguiling fruit notes and uh abrasing acidity coupled with a dry and refreshing finish so that's uh that's our first beer. So let's go ahead and get into the game here. Cheers, guys. Uh, thanks for thanks for joining up. Let's go. So I've played this game for roughly, I think it was five hours I've put into the kind of the main storyline. Oh, yeah, by the way, this game's in early access, so there's still a lot of, uh, a lot of things to come. I know they just added, um, I think, as of a week ago, um, some kind of tweaks to the ships and stuff. So the, uh, we'll go ahead and, and I'll, I'll resume my game here. So about five hours in, uh, I've uh, I've done a, kind of like a couple ships to kind of get a handle on the game. And uh, if you're if you're new to this game, you don't know what it's about. You're essentially this. You owe like if you see the credits down here. Um, you owe. Uh, oh yeah, up here the debt in the upper right. Let me move the camera so you guys can see that. Uh, yeah, so if you guys look in the upper right, you can see the debt that I owe to some 
uh, this Lynx Corporation. So obviously uh, going to take a lifetime and a half or, or something to pay that off. So I don't know, kind of don't know what the end is supposed to look like. But anyway, every time you go break a ship down, you're collecting money to pay that debt off. So um, it's kind of interesting how they do it. Um, I should probably go through... You get a bunch of equipment to, to handle um, dismantling all the craft. Um, so these are persistent upgrades that you can do after uh, um, your salvage operations. And I actually have this LT currency, the Lynx Bucks or whatever you want to call them. I have some, so let's see if we can actually do an upgrade here. Uh, if I can afford one. And yes, I can. Uh, so anyway... Uh, I'll tell you what, though. Uh, let's see. Some of the upgrades are a little more... Let's do the scanner upgrade just for the hell of it. Sure. There we go. And I'll show you guys uh, what all these little things are for, like uh, the different tools in your spacesuit and stuff. Let's go ahead and get into the game so you guys can see it. All right. So first, let's we have to pick a ship to salvage. Um, and yeah, they've added some new designs, which is really cool. Although... The variety is a little lacking in this current screen. I can go down to an easier grade of ship. Oh, whoops. Uh, wrong button. Um, yeah, so if I, I... To get harder ships, I have to level up. So I'm quite not... I'm not quite at that stage yet. Um, it's kind of interesting because you look at the ships and it gives you sort of a an idea of what you're dealing with. And so it says the hazard rating's high on this ship. It looks like there's a big fire hazard and, of course, explosive hazard when you're trying to dismantle it. If you don't do it correctly, things can blow up on you. So um, <laughs> I'm going to actually go. Let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this ship because the design of it looks new to me. I, I don't think I've seen a ship like this one before. So I'm going to go ahead and claim this ship. And, it, and it's uh, the one we're going to work on here. Cheers, everybody. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is how things kind of work in this game. You have a main tool, which is like a... Um, it's not a grapple, per se. I guess it is a grapple, but uh, it's how you kind of pull items and you can dismantle stuff with it. Um, it's free-floating, so you can kind of move. Uh, you, ever guys, you guys ever played that game Descent way back in the day? It's kind of like that six-axis six axis movement. Um, but, you know, you start off on the platform and then you basically, you just get to work right away. I mean, there's, the game doesn't really need to guide you once you do your first couple ships. There's like a, kind of like a really small tutorial. Um, and so one thing to, that you can kind of start with is you, you turn your scanner on and you can kind of see the different points of the ship where uh, there's um, the structure of it. So if you, you decide you want to start taking it apart, you can kind of see where you need to start. So the yellow... The yellow braces you see here are cut points that you can actually cut through and start disassembling the ship. So right now, on the exterior of the ship, I can see right here there's a cut point. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on that. And I switch to my saw, which is your second tool. And I'll show you guys kind of how this all works. Um, it's pretty cool, though. It's a pretty interesting game. Like I said, it, I think it's a really good idea for a game. So if you guys notice the... Um, the cut point is now highlighted, so if I go ahead and, and use my saw, just cuts it out. And then I'll switch to my um, my grapple, and then I want to send this to the barge down below for this thruster to be a uh, salvage, basically. And each piece will tell you like where it needs to go. So, um, right here, like I'm looking at this, the walls of the ship, and it says processor, so that's where I need to send it. But, uh, oh yeah, so here's this antenna. Let's go ahead and get that. This also needs to go to the barge. And so if you press F, it gives you this like little boost of your, uh, your grapple or your, um, your tassel or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, you, uh, can kind of fire it off into the distance. And if you're not careful, you can miss the, uh, miss the barge and lose money because you don't salvage the, uh, the antenna. So... Uh, so I'm gonna, you can go inside the ship, so let's go ahead and do that now. I'll open the airlock. Airlock pressure level dropping. And so obviously if you're not careful, um, you can definitely uh, screw up the airlock. 
and cause some uh, problems for yourself. Uh, so gotta shut the door. So now we're in the ship, which is kind of cool because you can kind of... Oh yeah, there's there's items you can collect, which I didn't even realize until like I think my second or third playthrough. And some of it's like lore, like the audio logs, which I don't really care about uh, at this point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't play every game for story. Uh, maybe later they'll flesh that out. Oh, there's multiple airlocks. So that's... I have not seen that before. So that's interesting. But yeah, it's it's cool. It's like it's just an interesting game. Oh, credits. That's nice. Got to got to love that. Um, so let's open this door. So here's the cockpit of the ship. All right. So, uh, I'm just going to uh right now I'm going to cycle the air. Uh a re oh yeah, repair kits you can use later um to repair your uh tools cuz your tools will they have durability and they will break down. Um, so let me go ahead and get the air situation dealt with because I don't want to uh, cause an explosion in here for us. So that'll drain the air. Um, and now I can freely explore the ship. See the, the airlock doors are now wide open. And so we can kind of figure out what's in these rooms. Oh, I see. Um, so this is new. I've not seen this before, uh, but this is a lot easier for us to uh, disassemble, which is awesome. So we're just going to get to work here, start taking this ship apart. Chuckles, yes, you can get killed, all right. If you decide to, uh, like I could, I could show you right here, this fuel tank, if I were to uh, shoot that with my saw, it would explode. Um... And yeah, you can you can kill yourself for sure. Uh, maybe we'll do a free play a little later, and I'll just like blow stuff up. You guys could get an idea. It's really cool, actually, the destruction uh, when the ships explode. You also don't want to cut. So I'm getting really close to the uh, braces because if you cut the ship, so you see how it's highlighted now. So that's all it's going to cut. If I were to try to cut it without getting that close, it would actually cut parts of the ship that I need to salvage that are actually worth money. Um, so you don't want to do that uh, if you can avoid it. That's something also I had to learn the hard way the uh, first couple playthroughs of it, of the first um, couple ships. And so uh, I'm just kind of getting the uh, different points cut up here um, and the main thing is I want to sort of get uh, there's fuel underneath okay that's kind of a problem so if you guys see this uh, oh I'm, I'm just uh, I need to rotate here so I'm trying to get this reactor you guys see here um, out of the ship because that thing will explode as well if I'm not careful Tokyo Gouda what up man thank you for gifting this by the way I gave you a shout-out earlier, but I don't think you were on yet. This game's cool. Um, so, yeah, I want to get... Let's see. So, where do I have to cut to get... Oh, uh, so they changed the layout of this ship now. So, I don't know if I can get from underneath to cut out... To get our reactor out of here. Um, that's usually the first step I try to go for. Um... Yeah, Gouda, do you know they added they added new ship layouts and they tweaked the layouts of some of the ships, actually. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and get this uh, this engine out of here. So yeah, you kind of you can hold on to the item and then try to guide it into the barge and make sure that it goes the right way it needs to go. <laughs> So yeah, what I was trying to what I was trying to do was get from. Um, let's make sure that goes. Yeah, there we go. I was trying to get down here. Can I take this panel off? Yes, I can. So that's cool. So if you guys see on the center of the screen, it says processor, like above all the HUD items. That that tells you where to send the uh, the salvage so that it goes to the right place. Because if you don't do that, it'll uh, it'll actually dock you money. Because you didn't dispose of it correctly. So that needs to go into the uh, the uh, processor, which 
you have on either side this kind of blue um, area. So it goes in there and you get money for the uh, items. And then, of course, you have the furnace for anything that can't be salvaged uh, like that. Okay, so... <laughs> I need to get oxygen, so I have to go back to the base here to uh, fill that up. Sometimes you can find tanks in the ships, but uh, I didn't see any while I was in there, so... Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so... Let's get back to it, because they do time you. I have six minutes left to on this shift. Um, you know, you can obviously spend multiple days taking a ship apart. I'm going to go ahead and take the hatch off the top here. But yeah, this game's just super, like, relaxing. Um, you know, assuming that you go slow and you don't blow up, uh, you know, air tanks or uh, um, the fuel cells or anything like that, which... If you're not careful, you can easily do. I've done it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's cool. Get all this space junk going here. That was a little... Getting a little wild on me. Alright, so that's going to the right place. Yeah, so one thing that's kind of interesting is if you... If you end up cutting um, certain items... Oh, you know what? We can take care of the uh, reactor at this point. So you do get tethers, which will help you pull certain items that are like heavy or dangerous. So I'm going to go ahead and attach a tether to the reactor and have it just pull straight down into the barge here. So there goes the reactor. Obviously, you don't want to be near that thing because it's radioactive. Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't talk about our work order. So as you can see, there's a... Uh, I have to salvage more nanocarbon, I have to salvage some metal, and then uh, a power junction box. So, I don't think that's going to happen this day, but we'll keep at this ship um, tomorrow and we'll see if we can get, get to some of those items. So, one, one clue is like when you use the... Uh, um, this uh, tool, if it's glowing blue, that means it can be moved. And so you kind of you can kind of figure out like oh I, I need to cut more stuff before I can move this I oh shit hang on I, we don't want that to go into the processor so pull those off I didn't know they were attached that was a close one so now we can actually send this into the processor all right good to go so yeah, this that's that's uh, in a nutshell. That's this game. I mean, you just kind of try to figure out where to cut into the ship and start taking it piece by piece, and just start disassembling it. And obviously, as the uh, as the ships get bigger, they get more complex, and you have to kind of figure out how to uh, how to cut them. So, let's see if we can get another floor, plan floor panel off here. Okay. Yeah, I, I uh, Gouda, I went into the furnace too, I think, my first time playing this. I got a little too close. I've never gone in the processor though, I don't think. <laughs> All right, I got two minutes. Let's see if we can do one more thing here. Or maybe a couple, we'll see. Oh, we can get rid of this. So this is easy. One thing I did notice is sometimes the physics are a little wacky and you'll fire something off into the barge and it'll like bounce around and sometimes bounce out. So um, that may have been fixed, I don't really know, in the recent updates, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Malfunct, what's up, man? I, uh, I, I stowed away on board a, a shuttle. I got into space. Once I was out here, they had to deal with it. I was just here. It was too late. They put me to work. 
Let's go ahead and get this thing. All right. What do we got? We got a minute. What can we do in a minute? Where's this got to go? Into the furnace. Okay. This is easy. All right. So, is there anything else we can take right now that's detached? How about what's in here? There's our power junction box, so that's sweet. Got that dealt with. Uh, what is in here? Sometimes there's stuff in the seats. Doesn't look like this time. We can totally take the chairs, though. Send that off to the barge. So we're almost out of time, so we'll get and head back. You guys get an idea of how the upgrades work and stuff. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining. Okay. That's a day. Um, I must have ac accidentally burned something with the saw because there's a destroyed panel in there somewhere. But otherwise, uh, everything went, went where it needed to go, and so we got some, uh, we got some good stuff. Uh, yeah. So let's go to the hub and we can upgrade our tools and uh you guys show you guys kind of how that all works well actually i don't have enough i don't have enough uh money i don't think to upgrade anything yeah so there's our cutter and then the it is it is a grapple i don't know what i called it before but it, it's a it is a grapple so our laser cutter is at 95 percent durability our grapple is at 78 and our scanners at 73. So th that's all like of the point where I don't feel the need to um, repair those quite yet. So we'll let them get a little lower. Uh, and then obviously these upgrades, uh, they are, oh, I have those. These are out of our price range by quite a bit. So we're gonna have to do a lot more work to get some credits here to, uh, to it. Oh yeah, uh, here's how you advance to the next level. So I'm rank 5 right now, which gives me access to medium difficulty ships, I believe. Um, and then uh, as you get higher up the ranks here, you can do bigger and, and crazier ships. So I'm, I'm working my way towards level 6. And then at that point, I can probably do uh, hard ships, I think. Cheers! Um, thank you all for joining. I hope you had fun. Um, my goal is to entertain you all, so cheers.